Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Thaliba Kader. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Electricity, fuel and health gazetted as essential services. A guarantee that the Sri Lankan woman killed by Hamas fighters will be entitled to all privileges. Urban population rises. Teachers protest at the Kalania University. Memorandum of Understanding between Sri Lanka and Swiss Hotels Management Steps for immediate transition to sustainable agricultural systems for food security in Sri Lanka The President's Secretary has issued a very special gazette notice declaring several services including electricity, fuel and health as essential services. The Gasset notice has been issued on the order of President Ranil Vikramasinghe regarding the Sri Lankan woman tragically killed by Hamas fighters in Israel. The Israel PIBA organization has officially confirmed that her family members will receive the same privileges and rights as Israel nationals. A recent survey conducted by the National Physical Planning Department has revealed that the urban population of Sri Lanka has increased to 44.57%. The last survey on urbanization in Sri Lanka was conducted in 2012. According to the Population and Housing Census, the urbanization of the country is 18.2%. The teachers of Kalania University held a protest yesterday by performing pacification ceremonies under the theme Let's drive away demons, ghosts and scumbags who are harming the state university system. A memorandum of understanding with the National Youth Corps and the Swiss Hotel Management Academy was signed at the Ministry of Sports under the chairmanship of Minister Roshan Ranasinghe and the Swiss Ambassador. The purpose of this is to introduce the Sri Lankan youth to the professional field by providing them with extensive knowledge and understanding in the hotel industry. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the International Fund for Agricultural Development and the United Nations World Food Programme are making the World Food Day together. The authorities of those programs were joined. The occasion also emphasized the need for urgent action for a climate resilient and sustainable agriculture sector in Sri Lanka. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You were with me, Thaliba Kader. For more information, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk.